Drex here from Drex Factor Poise, sharing with you the love of poise spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today, I have a Relio Trilio beginner combo, because I got inspired. But before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow DNA, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. And a special thanks to the first non-business friend of the channel, Johnny Howard. Thanks so much for your support, Johnny. All right, so the inspiration behind this one is gonna take a little bit of explaining. Long, long ago, back when I first started spinning poi, I remember there being a fire show at the Band Shell in Boulder, Colorado, where I lived at the time, and there was a hoop performance in it that utterly captivated me, specifically because the woman who did it finished with what I considered to be the simplest hoop move out there. Like, she basically went through three or four minutes worth of music doing different things with the hoop off the body before she made the payoff to the entire piece doing just basic core hooping, which, you know, in my mind was like, that's like the basic thing that you start with, right? And yet the way that she structured the performance and the way that she paced it, it totally made sense and it paid off for the audience. So I wanted to create something like that, which granted the pacing is a little bit harder to pull off when I'm trying to work inside of the confines of a few seconds instead of a few minutes, but I'm hoping to give you all a little bit of that same feel with this beginner poi combo. So here's the pieces that you're going to need to know in order to make this combo work. You're going to need to know basic tuck turns. You're also going to need to know how to do pendulums with your arms and split time opposites as well as pendulums with your arms in together opposites. And finally, it's the whole point of the combo and what the whole thing builds up to, the three beat weave. I am going to leave links to tutorials for all of these tricks down in the description as well as up on screen in the cards if you are watching this video on YouTube. I'm going to show you the combo at full speed, break it down for you step by step, and then show it to you again in slow motion. Okay, so we're doing a lot of stuff here, but really all of it is meant to build up to doing the three beat weave, which in a lot of cases I think of as kind of like the most basic poi trick, at least it's the most recognizable one that's considered to be a beginner trick. And I really wanted to structure this combo in such a way that it built up the tension in such a way that finally getting to that three beat weave was gonna be a huge payoff. So let's see how we get there, shall we? We start off with the poi over to stage right, that is the right side of the performer, not the audience, and we go ahead and do a quick tuck turn back behind our shoulders and out to stage left. We're just switching which side of the body the poi's on. So from here, I'm gonna swing both of those poi over to my right-hand side as my right foot steps in front of my left foot, and then I'm gonna swing them both back over to my left when I step out with my left foot. So when you get up to speed on this, it's going to be kind of a twisty feeling move. It like, uh, it's basically you're stepping against the movement of the poi, so ba 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 it, it kind of like has a counter movement feeling to it, at least the way I think of it. And now that we're over at stage left, we're gonna start off with that split time opposites pendulum. Now technically speaking, I don't care which hand goes up here. I'm using my left hand, but every time my hands Apart uh, from the left hand side of my body here, I'm taking a step over with my right foot and bringing my feet together by the time they reach over to the right here. I'm gonna do this once, twice, and three times, yeah? Okay, so once I've made it over to stage right here, I still have my pendulums going. So the way I'm going to bring them to a stop is uh, when they come over to my right hand side, I'm just gonna let both of them come around and do a big old stall over to my right hand side. Be really dramatic about this. We wanna suggest that something's about to happen, but we're not gonna make it happen yet. From here, I'm gonna stall that left hand poi out to my left hand side, and I'm gonna drop both of the poi down and around to begin those together opposite pendulums. You'll note that as I'm doing so, every time I go down, there's a focus shift with it. I'm bringing my entire body with them and kind of stepping forward very slowly and deliberately. Now I do this once, 
twice, three times I have both of the poi come around in big extensions and finish out to the sides. So now the audience is prepped for me to do something real dramatic because I've given them this whole thing. So what is it? That's right, I'm gonna go into the three beat weave by bringing my left hand over my right, like so. I highly recommend that when you do this, you also drop down on one knee and perform it up towards the sky. You do a little bit of a level change here and it really, really sells it. So the whole combo from the top looks like this. I'm gonna start over to stage right and I do a little focus shift. I do tuck turn overhead. I step over to the left and initiate that split opposite uh, pendulum once, twice. Third time, I bring it around. Left hand stalls out. I go around once. I go around twice and together opposite. And on third time, boom, and I finish with that three beat weave. Awesome. Let's see that again in slow-mo. Awesome, I hope you all dug this one and I would love to see you try it out. Please post video of yourself to the platform of your choice and make sure to tag me. I am Drex Factor on all the platforms and I would love to see your hard work. If you got anything out of this video, please make sure to leave it a like, comment, share, and subscribe, both to help other people find it as well as to help my channel grow. And finally, a huge thank you because this video would not be possible without the kind support of these amazing folks right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon and they, along with the wonderful people listed down in the description help to make this video and all the videos on my channel possible. Do you like poi content? Do you like tutorials? Do you like combos? Do you like vlogs and reviews and all of that? Well, I am trying to bring flow arts to the wider world and I would love to have your help to do that. In order to do that, you can head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. There you can get early access to all of my content as well as a say in what topics I tackle in the future, plus some great extras such as perhaps getting a private lesson delivered to your inbox every week. To get those rewards and more, go and sign up. Please and thank you. What did you think of this combo? Do you have a trick that you would like to see me throw into one? Please leave me a comment and let me know how I can make these serve you. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to leave a link to a playlist of videos just like this one down in the description, as well as up on screen if you happen to be watching on YouTube. Make sure to get outside and flow today and I will see you with a new video on Monday. Peace.